Back to our top story, a heated confrontation between a local anti-masker and Fresno City Council member, and it was putting social media abuzz on Sunday. It all went down at a brewery in Paso Robles. Our Madera Spab is live with new details of the video and what led to the blow-up encounter. Maderas. Alexon, Council Member Miguel Arias and anti-masker Benjamin Martin had never met before this weekend. But when they did, things got ugly quick. For purpose, if you don't get your job right, you're a horrible a fiery exchange caught on tape between activist Benjamin Martin and Fresno Council Member Miguel Arias at the Barrel House Brewing Company in Paso Robles. Enjoy your lunch. I will, thank you. That guy's garbage. It's clear to me that he's not interested in a respectful dialogue. He's interested in, you know, engaging in vulgar aggressive and threatening exchanges. Arias, who is fully vaccinated, says he was at the brewery celebrating his birthday. Martin claims Arias was walking around maskless and says he recognized the council member and wanted to introduce himself. Does that mean? Really? You're kidding me. You're not going to shake my hand? He said, no, I'm not going to shake your hand. I said, okay, well, in that case, let me tell you what I think. You are one of the worst humans on the planet. Arias denies Martin's accusations and says the only time he was without his mask was when he was at the table eating. Outdoor dining is allowed in both Fresno and San Luis Obispo counties under the state's COVID-19 guidelines. There, there doesn't seem to be a rational reason for him to engage in that rage, anger, and aggression towards somebody who's doing something that's legally allowable. This guy abuses his power. This guy is ruining the Fresno school system. Martin does not regret the confrontation and says he was sticking up for businesses and residents across Fresno. No, I don't regret it at all. Uh, every business owner in Fresno is frustrated. Every person who hasn't been able to work is frustrated. Yeah, yeah, I was frustrated. I'm frustrated because what they're doing smells of political agenda. He does plan on speaking with the San Luis Obispo Sheriff's Office and filing a report. And he also said that he would consider getting a restraining order against Martin. Martin says he has also called the Sheriff's Office to give his side of the story. And he is not a Fresno County resident. He lives elsewhere in the Valley. And he also says that he still does have a restraining order against him for an anti-mask protest that happened in front of Sprouts Farmers Market just a couple months ago. Reporting live from Fresno, Madera's Babcock. KC24, local news that matters. Madeiras, thank you. Also, new to